Hello. As we continue to pray and fast, today we are looking at Ephesians 1 verse 20 to 23. Uh, verse 20 says that he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. And he put all things under his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills in all. So Christ's death on the cross and his resurrection has put the church at a very strategic place of power, of honor, dignity, and authority above any principality or demonic forces. Mankind is on a sure path of restoration to the original Edenic position. The church has ultimate authority because a source of life, power, and sustenance is Christ who is the head. Our assurance is found in Jesus Christ. Uh, first, Timoth first Peter 1 verse 3 says, Praise be to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. We must never forget that Jesus is our hope and an anchor for our souls that is both firm and secure. If our ultimate hope were in people, things, or what this world can offer, we would undoubtedly have every reason to be hopeless. But our hope is in Christ alone. No matter how bleak things seem, we always have an internal hope in the midst of our uncertainty, we can hold on to Jesus, our assurance, so that we can build the church.